This is problem number seven from section 4.4. In this problem it says solve uh, this polynomial. Now I want to be clear that when we solve this, right now we're only looking for the real zero. So anything that's complex, we're just going to kind of ignore for now. Um, <clears throat> when I go to solve a polynomial, i got to get it set equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract 144c to the other side. When I do that, I get 4 c cubed minus 20 c squared minus 144 c equals 0. Now I'm going to try and factor out uh, a c from each term, but I also want to see, can I factor a 4 out? I know I can factor a 4 out of 20. What about 144? 144 divided by 4, 36. So I can factor a 4 out of all of that. I'm going to factor a 4 c out. That leaves you with c squared minus, this would be 5c, uh, and then I'll end up with minus 36 equals 0, because 4c, when I divide that out, that gives you negative 36. Okay. I'm going to use the zero product property, so 4c equals 0, or c squared minus 5c minus 36 equals 0. Divide by 4, c equal 0. Or, on this part, I'm going to try and do some factoring. So let's look at the factors of negative 36. Factors of negative 36, negative uh, 12 and 3, 12 and negative 3, negative 9 and 4, 9 and negative 4. Uh, those are pretty common ones. Let's see, negative 9 and 4. Let's add these together. That's going to be negative 9. That'll be 9. This gives you negative 5. Hey, that's the one we need, the negative 5 in the middle, right? So we're going to use negative 4 or negative 9 and 4. So we have c minus 9, c plus 4 equals 0. Zero product property again, so c minus 9 equals 0, or c plus 4 equals 0. Add the 9 over, we get c equals 9, or c equals negative 4. So our solutions then, are the possible ones are c equals 0, or c equals 9, or c equals negative 4.